What's up folks? Welcome back to the garage. As you have might seen my previous video, check the link above, uh, about the handbrake of this 940. And next my plan is to fit these uh, adjustment screws on both sides, so it will be easier to adjust the handbrake. Uh, this is not a bolt-on thing, so I need to do some fixing before that. I will tell you more after the intro. I have already fitted the new shoes and the adjustment screw, but there's a small problem. The gap here is a little bit too big, so I can't get the drum on the, on the shoes, so I have to do something. And uh, what I have already done or planned, uh, I bought these uh, screws at first, these are from, from a newer model of Volvo, I don't remember what it was, but I, as you can see, these are a pair, but I modified this one and I cut a piece away from there to make this shorter. And with this adjustment screw, I can get the gap uh, right. Because this is the original part, and if I, if I put this here, just a sec. Uh, now the gap with the original part, come on, like that. It's, uh, it's 46.5, the gap here. And if I use this one, this modified, I get, uh, no, this is the modified model. Now I can get the same 46.5. Uh, but what is my plan? I will, I already have marked the place here on, on these old shoes. And I will grind a little bit away from this shoe, from, you can see the mark there, to fit this better. And I hope after that small modification, I can get these originals, original ones to fit here perfectly. And uh, I hope I can get the right gap here. Uh, and the plan B is to modify, modify these both, and then I will use these ones. But I will uh, first I will do the test with the old shoes, and then I will uh, modify these new new ones. But that's my plan. Uh, next I will put my camera on. Next I will put my camera away for a while, and uh, I will do the modification, and I'll let you know what happened. Please help this channel to grow, hit the like button right now, thank you very much, and also leave some comments down below, that would be great, they will help me a lot. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, now it's a good time to do that, and also remember, ring the bell. Now the gap is actually a little bit under 46, which is good, because now it's uh, easier to adjust with the, with the screw. What I just did, I grind a little bit metal out of both shoes and now the screw fits perfectly between those or in those gaps. So now I just have to do the same thing to the new shoes and then I will change these ones to here. And then I have to do also the same thing uh, to these, these shoes. Now the gap with the new shoes is almost the same, about 46 something, and uh, now I just have to fit these new shoes there. I have all already set my camera stand, <laughs> but I hope that I can fit the drum uh, over the new shoes.
I struggled a little bit with that spring. Usually it goes easily and this one is the hardest one, but now I just noticed that I have to uh, take this spring away because it's in the wrong place. It should be there on the right, so I have to fix this one. But now the adjusting screw is, is perfectly there. Uh, I think this modification was quite successful, at least at this point. And from this hole I can adjust with the screwdriver the screw quite well. Well, there's a smaller hole in, the, in that drum or disc, but my screwdriver will fit there with no problem. Uh, next I will just have to change the place of this spring and uh, after that I will try to assemble the drum. Now the drum is back on and it spins and it spins with no problem. Next I have to fix the other side and after that we can start doing the brake adjustment. Uh, now it should be much much easier because we have the screws on both sides and then we have the adjustment adjustment screw inside inside the car but I will focus on the next side. First, I have to modify those uh, brake shoes.
now you can see the adjust adjustment screw there now I just have to adjust this screw with my screwdriver first I will try to do uh, so that it will uh, take a little bit uh, from from this side and then I will have to tighten the the wire from the cabin and I try to adjust the brake so that it just barely hits the drum and uh, then I will lose it a little bit but we will see soon how this works now I managed to tighten the wire and there's uh, still much much more to tighten it so that's okay uh, and the handle handbrake handle is now quite tight feels good and uh, after the adjustment I check that the brake will open and this will rotate and the other side is the same uh, next I will attach the brake calibers and uh, wheels and then I will do the test the same test again and I hope that now the handbrake works like it should now the wheels are on and still on the air let's do a small test yes Oh, what a job! <laughs> I even uh, put the centerpiece back on and I checked the tire pressure so everything should be now ready for the MOT second time and uh, I will take the car to the MOT tomorrow so you will see the results in this video. I have a good news. The MOT is now passed Hyväksytty in Finnish <laughs> and uh, now I have one year more to drive with this car which is nice uh, but there's uh, still little things or little thing to fix and I will tell you that next and on this uh, MOT they just check the handbrake nothing else so the left was 1.4 and the right one was 0 0.7 so the difference was still 50 percent but the maximum difference is 70 percent so the car passed the handbrake test uh, i think this is just a adjustment thing that nothing nothing big but uh, in winter time i have to check the left brake because there's still some uh, the, the brake still warms up so I think this uh, brake cylinder is a little bit stuck and uh, I have to refresh the piston <laughs> and uh, on that point when I open the brakes I think I, I just clean them properly again and then adjust also the handbrake so after that I think it should be okay for the next MOT which will be before 18th of October 2022. Oh yes, now I can keep driving and keep smiling <laughs> while driving with uh, this turbo. Thanks for watching. Please give me a thumbs up and comments down below. That would be a great. And if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, now it's a good time to do that. And also remember to press the bell. The 1000 subscribers is almost there, so thank you so much. Thanks for watching and see you soon!